2,000 architects and engineers met in San Francisco demanding a new investigation. See, Jesse, you're the first guest I've had where we're still arguing in the breaks. <laughs> Let's get to your conspiracy theories. I'm unique. Let me ask you. Sure. John F. Kennedy's yep. uh, assassination. Yep. Who did that? Uh, it was done by William Harvey, who was the head of the CIA's assassination unit at that time. Uh, David Morales was directly involved in it. He likewise is the, man, the gentleman who killed Che Guevara down in Bolivia in 67, where they put him up against a firing wall and killed him and shot and killed him. Morales was part of that. Uh, I believe that because I'm, I, I saw, heard, and read a confession from E. Howard Hunt on a deathbed to his son. And when he confessed, it was not a co confession of remorse. It was a confession of pride. He wanted the world to yeah, know people say, that we helped Jesse, you out. We killed John Kennedy, this communist sympathizer. But, but Jesse, aren't you being slightly naive? People can say anything on a deathbed to immortalize themselves. When I die, I might say, you know what? I well, don't want anyone to yes, know about my long-standing love affair be, with be, Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything, does it? I can be slightly naive, except the fact that uh, you're not going to convince me he could make those shots. Why? Because I tried them, and I'm an expert marksman. He wasn't, and I couldn't do them. I couldn't even work the fastest I could work. The Manlicher Carcano bolt was eight and a half seconds, and they're telling me he got three shots off in six seconds with that bolt-action piece of crap weapon. I tried it. We simulated the whole thing. I couldn't do it, did, and, did I, the, uh, and I qualified expert at age 50 when I was governor of Minnesota yet. Did Neil Armstrong land on the moon? I don't know. I what assume he did. did. Uh, yeah, I think he did. Why would you believe that? Uh, because we have the technology to get there. We have the technology to investigate uh, an assassination. Sure we do, but we don't. Well, we have thoroughly. When a, coup de, when a coup d'etat takes place, there can be no trial. There can be no investigation. Do you want to know another reason why it's a farce? I'll tell you why, personally. My mother, before she died, she had a big trunk. And when she died, in the bottom of that trunk, she had every Minneapolis paper of that weekend that John Kennedy was killed. This was in Minneapolis's Monday morning paper. That means this is 63, so it had to go out early in the afternoon of Sunday to be in the Monday morning paper. And you know what was down in the bottom? Dallas police declare case closed. Come on, now, Jesse. You're it's being... right in the paper. Jesse. The, Oswald, Kennedy's killed on Friday. Ruby kills Oswald on Sunday, and the Dallas PD says the case is closed. They haven't interviewed a witness. There was no confession, but the case is closed. Well, newspapers... Come on, Piers. What with... type of investigation is that? I, I have never, ever heard anybody suggest the investigations were closed on the Monday within it hours It was in of... the paper. Dallas well, police you believe declared... everything you read in the papers? I, Never, did, I did them. I have rarely encountered a man who believes less about what he reads in the papers. And now you want me to base your whole conspiracy theory Not my whole. on the fact that you've read one Are line you in your mother's newspaper from the time? I've studied John Kennedy for 25 years, Piers. You're not, I'm not basing this on reading one line in the paper. I'm basing this on reading everything I could get my hands on. Let's move to 9-11. Your theory of 9-11 is what? My theory of 9-11 is that we certainly, at best, we knew it was going to happen. They allowed it to happen to further their agenda in the Middle East and go to these wars. So just to clarify, President George Bush knew that 9-11 was going to happen, that 3,000 people were going to get murdered. They had all the information. If you looked at the Am NSA documents, if you look, if, well, put it to you this way. Um, the August 6th memo was pretty clear. But are you, do you genuinely believe, Jesse Ventura, that President George W. Bush knew 9-11 was going to happen? No. Why do you say it then? No. Well, why do you say it? But I believe Dick Cheney knew it. Really? Yep. You believe he knew it was going to happen? I believe they had a good... Well, why did John Ashcroft quit flying commercial planes that summer and switch only to private planes? Why did that happen? You don't honestly believe these people. Do you? I don't believe you believe that. You don't honestly think Dick Cheney knew it was going to happen. You can't do Do you really believe, it's not Piers? It's not irrational. I said Excuse it's not me. rational. Excuse me. Do you really believe that evil people can't be in charge of governments? If you do, go talk to the Germans. They know a little about that, that evil people can get in charge. The governments are run by people.
Governments people can be bad. So Dick Cheney is involved, Ashcroft's involved, all these people got together and planned 9 -11. Come on. It's madness. Oh, that's madness. But you'll fully accept that 19 Islamic radicals armed with box cutters taking orders from a guy in a cave in Afghanistan mm. could defeat our multi-billion dollar air defense yes. system, yes. which the Russians couldn't yeah. do. Jesse, that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. Really? Unfortunately, they exposed a massive flaw in Homeland Security. And what was it? The flaw was that these guys had been training and often aiming to go one way, aiming to land planes in a certain manner, in fact, not even land them. They wanted to take off but not land. All these were clues that this was a weird set of circumstances. I'm afraid that's exactly what happened. And the trouble being a conspiracy theorist, I've got great respect for you and your book's very readable. The problem is, once you start buying into these theories, you never stop. And with the internet these days, there's a theory about everything. Yeah. I mean, do you believe Princess Diana was, was murdered? No, I don't look into that. Well, what do you think? I don't know. I isn't haven't studied the, it. Isn't the tendency of a conspiracy I, theory I only, it, it I, breeds no, other conspiracies? No, 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 no. I only go into things I study. I've studied 9-11 for three and a half years now. And it's my expert opinion. As a demolition expert, I was trained by the best the U.S. government has. I served three years on underwater demolition team 12. Two years I was attached to SEAL mm. team 1. And, and when I look at the buildings and how they fall and the way they fell, they couldn't have come down without being assisted in some manner. And then I counter... You don't believe when two then, large planes hit the World Trade Center, no, hit both towers, no. and they explode, yeah. that that couldn't bring down two buildings? No. And that the debris because, couldn't well, bring down a third the, building? The Empire State Building was hit by a plane and it didn't collapse. It was a tiny plane that hit the Empire State Building. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Tiny. Well, the World Trade Center buildings were tested against Boeing 707s, which are bigger than the planes that hit. Well, and and the way it was designed, if, if it was punctured, it was like a screen door. It would cause damage right where it, the hit was, but this uniform collapse. And then when you look at the powder, if it collapsed, it would collapse in big chunks. Just a, you're, Wait, you're, you're, then I was at the site two weeks after it happened with Governor Pataki, uh, right? And they had to cease digging that day. You know why? They were finding pockets of molten liquid metal underneath. Now, if everything took place, Piers, 150 floors up, why was there molten metal underneath? You're a, you're it a, you're it a requires 3,000 oh, degrees to melt metal. Jesse, you're a patriot. You're, you're a good I don't Amer know if I am. You consider yourself to be a good American? Um, I've been a mayor, I've been a governor, and I served six years and was honorably discharged from the United States Navy. Do you accept that some people, many people, will be listening to this and consider it to be quite offensive, what you're saying. What, to question government? I think it's quite offensive not to question government. No, no, not to, it's more of a I question. think it's offensive no, Jesse, to sit back like a zombie and accept everything I get you're told. I get that. But when you're telling the American public, as you are right now, and indeed the wider world, this airs around the world, that Dick Cheney, Vice President of the United States. Well, I'd like knew, some answers from well, him. Yeah, but you didn't just say you want some answers. You said oh, yeah, he no, no. knew and was responsible for the biggest atrocity in American history on his own ground. You believe well, that? No, no. I'll just say it happened on his watch, so they're responsible. So he didn't for it. know. I don't know. Listen, we're going to take a break so that we can all just deep breath, calm down. Before we go, be calm. before we go, just clarify me one more time because you said Cheney knew and then he didn't know. Did he know or not? I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. We'll I wasn't there. We'll I wasn't back. there. You but I were. certainly have questions for him that were not answered. I get it. We'll be back after the break. Thank you, Jeff.